Meaning for you, stage two, course set nine, protect electronic health information. The requirements of course set nine uh, are twofold, actually. There is the responsibility of the vendor, which is us, prognosis, but then there's also the responsibility of you, the eligible provider, the human element. And those requirements for both are to ensure that there is a security risk analysis done in accordance with the requirements of the Federal Register, which is in compliance with HIPAA guidelines. Um, we see here the measure as published by CMS cites various pages within the Federal Register. Um, so you can certainly go to those websites to verify all of the content. The objective of this measure is to ensure that patients' electronic health information uh, that is managed within a certified EHR is secure and protected um, by utilizing appropriate technical capabilities. Now, at the end of the reporting period, the results are not going to be numeric, so there is no patient count involved here. This is a system functionality, and you will need to report to the affirmative that you have, in fact, conducted or reviewed a security risk analysis of your system and practice and implemented any appropriate security updates that may be needed prior to or during your reporting period. Note that it is recommended that you maintain physical proof of all of this, whether it is a binder, um, a journal of logs, reports, etc. Auditors do expect to see proof that you have performed these checklists. And there are no exclusions available, so everybody attesting for meaningful use must comply with Course at 9. Now, on the CMS side, um, there's some additional information that they publish beyond the requirements up above, um, and they are referring you here to the HIPAA rules. And the point is, is that even though the security risk analysis um, and the Federal Register are in addition to HIPAA, they do not step aside of the HIPAA requirements. So there's nothing additional being imposed here or expanded from the typical HIPAA rule. So this should not be a hardship for you uh, or impose any additional requirements within the practice. And you see that there is the link there to that security rule, um, which you can read in conjunction with the Federal Register um, pages that we cited up above. Now, as to the prognosis responsibility, when we got certified, we did get a five gold star rating. So the technical aspect, especially if you are using the cloud version of prognosis is 100% certified and secure. Now, if you are using the client server version, as opposed to our cloud, where you are responsible for the storage of the data, your responsibilities are a little broader. Um, so when you go to our resource center to download the security risk analysis checklist, there are two versions. There is one for the cloud users and there is one for client server users, which includes those additional pieces um, related to managing your own server within the practice. Now, this risk checklist does need to be done at least once every reporting period. Uh, it involves including or uh, implementing rather employee sanction policies amongst all your staff members, uh, performing system activity reviews periodically, uh, which would include, but are certainly not limited to, the um, technical infrastructure of your practice and the organization itself your physical safeguards as to document storage and workflow, um, user security and things of that nature. There's nothing on a patient or encounter level and prognosis relevant to Core Set 9. However, the checklist that we just referred to can be downloaded from the Resource Center. So anywhere within prognosis, once you're logged in, you can access the system icons up here in the upper right. And the fifth one from the right is our Resource Center. Now on the Resource Center, in addition to the training videos and FAQs that you maybe are familiar with, uh, we do have these user quick guides at the top and they are categorized. And you see here under our meaningful use category, we do have these two risk checklists for stage two. Um, course set nine, stage two, we have the client server version and we have the cloud version. This can be opened online, of course, in red, or you can download it to your computer to save a soft copy, print it, whatever you need to do. Um, it is an 11 page checklist and it just is going to go through all of those federal register and HIPAA rules that we just alluded to from those references up above. This checklist is based upon that and it will give you a step by step of what you need to do in your practice 
as regards your employee sanction policy, your access to document storage, protected health information, and so on. And again, you want to keep a tangible copy of this to demonstrate for an auditor 